Hi everyone, this is Connie from Connie's Creative Creations. I'm so glad you're here. Today, I'm taking part in the 5 Under $5 DIY Challenge. The hosts are Emily from Char a Farm Charm Chic and Missy from The Crafty Cove. DIY and their co their guest host is Michelle from Moxie DIY and Java. Now this month the theme is Halloween decor. So let's get right into this. Now I'm gonna have to admit I lost some footage on these first two um, crafts. In fact, I lost almost all of it. Um, this is a wood round 12 inch. It's the thin ones. It is from Amazon and I'll leave a link to my link tree where it will be. Now I'm just painting this with the um, folk art black chalk paint. Now I'll show you what it looks like in the end because you don't get to see very much of it. I turned on the record. It recorded for a few minutes and then it shut off and I don't usually look at it because I figured eh, I'm just recording yeah I should have looked at it because it happened twice I was not happy but like I said I'm just getting this all and I only put one coat um, it's pretty thick and it just went on perfectly so I'm just painting this I'm going to be making a Halloween night scene so it's gonna have the moon some ghosts a tree a fence, some pumpkins. So that's, you'll see at the end, I'll show you at the end of this what it ended up looking like. It was pretty cool. I made the fence out of uh, craft sticks. Uh, the pumpkin came from the Dollar Tree. It was just a pumpkin uh, shape, wood shape. The moon and one of the other pumpkins was just a wood round from the Dollar Tree. And then I just, uh, cut the ghosts out of paper and the tree looks really awesome and it's made out of craft paper or packing paper really super easy to do so like I said this just I'm just sorry I completely lost my footage so now I'm going to um, I'm getting the other stuff ready like right here I've got the craft sticks and I'm going to cut them course they exploded never had that happen before but I'm just cutting them in different sizes and I'm cutting angles on them um, really sharp you know pointies on the top like a picket fence but this ain't no perfect picket fence I also you end up using some um, moss too um, from the Dollar Tree as well so and like I said I'm just cutting these and I'm gonna paint them and I hope you guys like this one. I fell in love with it when I made it. And then I realized I lost the footage. I was really upset. But I figured, you know what? At least you're going to see some of what I do. And you'll see the end result. And this literally only costed me maybe a dollar fifty Because those wood rounds, I got 12 of them for, I think it was twelve ninety nine, And then... The six or seven craft six, maybe maybe a dollar seventy five, wasn't much. So, but yep, here I am just cutting away these, to getting them all, and two of them I cut end to end. So it'd be the crossbar in the front of the fence, and then I'm just going to paint these um, with that black chalk paint, just like I did with the round, and then I. Um, I'm going to move on to the next section. Now, I think I lost the section before I started on the other parts of it. We will see here in just a second because I cannot remember. But I do get these all painted um, all up in the black. Now, they're still quite long. And I trim them off as I put them on the, um, the wood round just to make sure that it is the exact style that I want because it's going to look like an old rickety uh, falling down fence. So um, if you are one of my subscribers, 
I want to thank you for stopping by and watching my video. Also, if you're new, welcome. I'm so glad you're here. And I hope you consider hitting that subscribe button because that helps my channel grow. Also, give me a big thumbs up. Leave me a comment. Hey, and hit that notification bell. And this is the result of it. I hope you guys like it. Now, on to the second one. This is one I also lost most of the footage. But I'll tell you what I ended up doing. I painted this pumpkin from the Dollar Tree white. And then I put black stripes on it. Then I put gold stripes on it. That candlestick from the Dollar Tree, I did the same thing. I cut it, I painted it um, black. And then I painted it white. Or no, put white stripes on it and then gold stripes. So I hope you like the end of it because this is all I have. I'm so sorry. I just glued them together and this is what I ended up with. Now, let's get to the next. Okay, now let's get to the other parts that I actually did not lose any of the footage for this. Figured it out. Okay, the rest of these projects are all made out of wood that comes from my garage and I just went out and I cut them. Now that big long piece was part of a palette. It still has nails in the side of it. Could not get them out. So I just um, pounded them flat and then I just, I'm going to end up painting over them. Now this is my white, um, apple barrel paint. I am a plaid ambassador, so I get all these products because I uh, talk about them and use them all the time. And uh, on my link tree is a lot of the links for my Amazon storefront for you to be able to purchase these. So I'm just, I've got several different pieces and I'm kind of going to be meshing these three different projects all together because it's using the same paints so I decided just to go ahead and do it like this is three pieces from three different um, projects so I'm just painting all of these that white then I'm going to put them off to the side pull all the ones that I'm going to be painting black and then I'm going to do all of those um, all at the same exact time I had five that looked like houses and three of the blocks and then just the one long one. Okay, so these ones are the the uh, three that I'm going to paint um, black. Now those blocks are made out of a two by four. I just cut it into three pieces, the same exact size. So here I am just painting this one black and I ended up forgetting part of it, and later on, you may or not be able to see it, but I fixed it. So, no big deal. So, these are, like I said, these are all going to be black. And I'm making, these ones, I'm going to be making a book stack. A faux book stack. I don't like messing up books. I know you can get a lot of books that are like going to the trash or whatnot, or free books, or I just... If I start messing with the book, I open it up and start reading it. So that's just never a good idea. So I'm just using wood. And I'm just painting this one. These are two different. They're both the house shapes, but they're going to be different when they're finished. And I'm not painting the bottom and I'm not painting the back because you never end up actually seeing it. Um, if, I de if they get seen, I will go back and paint it. But... It didn't bother me. I don't always finish off the backs of things. Especially if it's just going to be up against the wall. Oh, that first project, the little uh, night scene. I put a, a hook on it so I can hang it up. Alright, so here I am doing this last one. Now the next color is going to be orange. So I'm going to get that all done. And this black I only did, uh, I did one coat. I'm pretty sure I only did one coat. This chalk paint, this is a, um, a folk art um, black paint. And um, it's really nice and thick. And you don't hardly ever have to do more than one uh, coat unless it's 
depending on what it is. But this, no, I couldn't even see the wood grain through it. It did such a, a good job. Now, these last two is going to be, um, this is Waverly Chalk Paint in Pumpkin. And I'm going to paint these both in this uh, pumpkin color, this orange pumpkin color. I'm doing the same thing on all three um, the tops and both sides and just the front and then I'm gonna do the uh, the board the two by four the same exact way so so far um, I've only used some paint um, these are pieces of wood that most of this in fact almost well I bought the two by four but when you break it down to, to these little pieces it might be 20 cents each these two, two by fours were, I think, six dollars. So maybe it was a dollar. Maybe. So, yeah, the rest of them, like I said, the um, one, the long one, was um, a part of a palette, which was free. The other pieces was free wood as well that I um, was given. I Because I am do the what I do here on um, YouTube I have people who just give me stuff so all right so here I am I'm using this black paint and a really small paintbrush and now I'm going to start painting on all of these and I'm just gonna let you watch me as I just work away Okay, here I am working away on these. Um, don't forget to go down to the description box and down there you will find the links to Missy's, Emily's, and Michelle's um, channel link as well as the playlist link and a lot of different information on my new channel. I only have a few videos up but I'm working at getting some other ones trying to figure out exactly what everybody would like to see on it because DIY is only scratching the surface on everything that I do um, if you can think of things that you would like to see me do I hand paint my fingernails I am a crocheter a knitter I do woodworking I love to bake and cook. I am a painter. Um, so many other different things. So if you 
if there's something you're interested in seeing, put it in the description, in the, in the comments, and I'll let you know if I can do it. And if I can, I will work on it. Right now I'm working on a crochet series, as well as a left-handed crochet series. So, that's what I'm working on, as well as a lot, so many other things. So, I know I'm saying the word so a lot. Okay, as you can see, this one is um, spider webs. Now, some of them are indented one way and some are indented the other. Now, I'm sure I did those first ones wrong, but I didn't want to change them, and I think they look fine. So, I'm just going to leave them. Now, this one, I am doing uh, a checkerboard. So, I'm using uh, crafters, I mean, painter's tape. And I'm just taping this off. I'm using a thinner one for the um, the lines in between that's going to be painted. Now I'm just using a Dollar Tree makeup sponge. And I'm just sponging the same um, Waverly Pumpkin on there. And then I'm going to pull those off and let it dry. And then I'm going to do it the other way. Now if I had have wanted it to be like a buffalo check, I would have done it differently. But I really like the way it turned out. So it remind this reminds me of a funny story. My daughter, <laughs> my middle daughter, um, she has blonde hair. Blonde hair, big blue eyes. And when she was a teenager, she wanted her hair to be black and red striped. Paint, um, dyed. So... I did the black and we went to do the red <laughs> it turned orange and so this was in October and so I told her she was like Halloween she had Halloween hair so I hope you guys like this one I really like this one I like checks I like buffalo checks I love any kind of checks okay now this one I'm just using black paint on this white one and a lot of these I've seen them different people has done something similar to these and I just get inspiration sometimes they look more like theirs and other times they don't look like theirs so I could not remember who I saw all these on because I go through things that I just screenshot or I save them onto my um, in uh, Pinterest. I think these are uh, most of these I found on Pinterest, and I just was inspired by them, and so that's why I'm making it. So here I am. Um, I made a spider web, and then down at the bottom there, I'm going to make a spider, and like he's going down, and I'm going to hook it together with dots, so it looks like he's coming down from the spider web so I thought about putting a little red be on belly but I thought yeah you can't see his belly from his back so I just didn't do that one so I hope you guys really like these because I just love them and um, I love decorating for Halloween but I'm not really into the scary Halloween I really like the cute Halloween stuff and to me, this stuff is cute. It's not scary. Okay, I'm using a ruler and the um, back of the end of a paintbrush. And I'm just dotting this. And I'm just doing dip, one, two, three, dip, one, two, three. So the dots get smaller each time as I go one, two, three. And I really like that look. So that is the end of that one. Now I'm going to stack these. See that? That's where I noticed. I did. I remembered I did leave it in here. I forgot to paint that top. For some reason, I was thinking it was going to be the bottom one. But then I decided not to have it as the bottom one. So I had to paint um, the top of it. But the orange one, I did make it right. I checked that. I'm like, oh, did I do it right? Yeah, I did. And then the white one... Um, one side I painted, one side I didn't. I didn't need to paint the other side because after this is dry, 
and I hook them together, I'm going to use um, wood glue and then hot glue for the quick, um, uh, the quick stick, the quick you know hold. But one thing I'll tell you about wood glue is it is stronger when it's on bare wood to bare wood. And the reason I say that, it is actually stronger than the wood. If you were to try and break something apart or take it apart that is stuck together, bare wood to bare wood with wood glue, the wood would break before the bond of the glue would. It's on much stronger on the molecular level. So if you didn't know that, I gave you a little bit of science. Okay, now I'm finishing these off. I'm just taking some jute and wrapping this around. I wasn't so sure I liked the way it ended up looking. I may go back and take it off because I only glued it on the back and not the front. I wasn't so sure I really like it. And uh, I may just take it off, but I'm not sure. But um, I'm just using a little piece of uh, felt on those to secure that in um, like I said I can always cut that off and I did that on all four of those little house shaped and um, then I'm going to wrap around the book stack and I'm not going to do anything to the tall one with the spider I think it looks just perfect that way and here I am just speeding through this um, and getting these all finished. I didn't think you wanted to sit and watch forever how long it took to get these all finished, but I don't like to miss, uh, forget how or not to show everything. I feel like you miss out and here I'm wrapping that. Now you can't really see really well what I'm doing. I was a little bit out of the camera range. I'm just wrapping some of the jute around. I'm going to, uh, Make, you know, tie a bow and then I'm going to use some maple leaves, some of that greenery and um, a couple of those yellow flowers and glue those all on the top and call this a complete finished little project. And I really hope you guys love these because I just love them to death. I think they are so cute. So, like I said before, don't forget to hit subscribe. Hit that notification bell, hit it twice and click the all. You'll get notified every time I upload a video. And you can see here how that ends up looking. And here is the four little houses. And here is the spider. And here is a little video. And then when I got completely done, I had completely forgot to put the book stack in this little video. But you guys know what it looks like. No big deal. Like I said, this is so cute. I just absolutely enjoyed making these. I've got a few more Halloween things to do. And then I'm moving right into Thanksgiving and Christmas. So be on the lookout for all these um, projects that I have caught coming up. Um, like I said, have a great blessed week. Also, call somebody and tell them you love them and be the Bible that somebody reads today. You guys have a great day. Bye.